Okay, this is Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. This is the UN General Assembly, a sinkhole of corruption and censorship. But we're going to begin, of course, as we often do, on the Trump docket. Now, in the January 6th case, there's a bid by Trump to um, have uh, Pence and his communications with Pence not come in. What would it mean for the trial? We'll just have to see. Um, meanwhile, down in Florida, the case against Ray Root, the uh, golf course attempted assassination guy, has been wheeled out to Eileen Cannon, um, for what it's worth. Um, just a fluke? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Now, of course, oh, in financial news, in the Southern District um, yesterday, DOJ sued Visa for, for monopolizing the debit card market. We're waiting here for a second, but this is can, it's, we're just doing it a different way. Um, that case is numbered 24 CV 7214, and interestingly enough, uh, 7201 of 24 is the case of Graves versus Combs, Sean Combs, yes, about a 2001 rape. The civil suits just keep coming, and we cover all of them. You can find the book, Did He Do It? Now, there was the sentencing of Carolyn Ellison, and to be honest, it wasn't really an adversary proceeding. Both her lawyers and the prosecutor were saying full leniency. Um, Judge Kaplan clearly had a, a pretty well thought out speech uh, uh, ready, a sentencing uh, ruling, and sentenced her to 24 months, albeit in a um, uh, uh, minimum security. Minimum security. What will this mean? This is sort of sets a benchmark for Nishad Singh and Gary Wang. I think uh, I don't know if, if Judge Kaplan was as convinced by them. So, uh, in terms of saying you're the best cooperator ever, so we'll have to see. They might get a little bit more time. Meanwhile, in the coming storm in SDNY, which is the Adams administration corruption scandals. Uh, Banks is out. Banks is out, but will it mean he won't be indicted? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Some banks is coming our way. There was also the case uh, up in the White Plains courthouse, but about Orange County, of uh, Mr. Rosenwasser, a former judge and then prosecuting prosecutor uh, uh, in Orange County who allegedly took money in order to um, go after the people on behalf of Sudani. Now, when they arrived to arrest him, there was reportedly an exchange of gunfire, and he's dead. Uh, we did our, we put RIP in our report on, and somebody was like, oh, you know, you try to be nice. You try to be nice. Sudani was released, for those who don't know, on $1 million bail, which is, uh, um, that's how it works, pay to play. But in, in UN world, here's what we want to say. Um, most people focus a lot on the Biden speech, and it was what it was. He talked about his decision to not run. Uh, there was Millet. Millet talked about trash, the pact for the future, this scam of Antonio Guterres, who's failed totally beyond banning the press, which he's done, beyond hiding his links to the China Energy Fund Committee. He's failed on Ukraine. He's failed on Gaza. And so he came up with a pact for the future. Millet said it's a big scam. Don't support it. You know, there was also Ziamar Castro of Honduras that um, – Guterres met with, no mention of the extradition issue of drug drug lords, nor about JOH, who Guterres had supported, who Guterres propped up. Um, so there's that. We're going to continue to cover it today. We're putting up a number of Iran, of course, that spoke, also mentioning the T word. So it is what it is, and the beat goes on. Inner City Press, did he do it? And the Adams project is in uh, circulation. But we've got things to cover. To be continued, innercitypress.com.